Hi everyone, if you're new around here, my name is Hannah Martin and today we're going to be doing a back flexibility and strength class. This was designed for Instagram, I did this as an Instagram live for Dance West Central, I do lives on there and classes every Saturday at 5.30pm so if you want to be a part of that make sure to go and follow Dance West Central, I will link it down in the description below. This class is definitely focused on really increasing and improving that back flexibility if that's something you really want to do and obviously the strength is equally as important. Do this tutorial at your own risk. I can't be responsible if anyone gets injured because I can't see you so please be careful, be aware of your surroundings and be aware of your body. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let's get straight onto it. We're just gonna start with loosening the back a little bit. Um, these are kind of the exercises that you used to do when I was a rhythmic gymnast actually, because rhythmic gymnasts do have very flexible and very strong backs. So we used to do this exercise um, to start off our trainings, just to really mobilize the back. So you put your hands clasped behind your back and you just do little body waves and really think about rippling through the spine. Okay, there's no point just doing it in the hips because today we're focusing on the back. So really think about when you push the hips forward, bending the back and then rolling it inwards. So it's going bend and going the other way. It's very important when you do back stuff, you bend back, but you also round it the other way because otherwise you can cause injury in that back. So let's do it eight times. We'll do eight little waves, okay? Really thinking about articulating that spine. We're gonna do eight forwards and then eight backwards. So you go back and back, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, other way, and one, and two, it looks a bit weird, but it's good for you, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good job. Right, the next thing we're gonna do is focusing on back strength. We're still standing up, but we're gonna go, if you've done my classes before, you've probably done this before. We're gonna go into a tabletop. Most important thing is we're not rounding, we're not arching, we're like flat, flat as a table. If you want, get your siblings round, get them to balance a bit of a water bottle on your back, if it stays there, you're in the right position. So, what we're gonna do, watch me carefully. You're gonna hold it for eight here. Then our arms are gonna go side and up, and side and up, eight times. Then, we're not finished yet. After the eighth time, we go side and up, side and center, side and center, okay? And we're not finished yet. After you've done that eight times, you rise up onto releve and you hold it for another eight. Then you try and get back to a normal position on that releve, okay? So we do eight, eight holding here, eight times with the arms like this, eight times with the arms going side, 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 and then hold a releve for eight and then come up to a neutral spine. You're probably wondering what does this have to do with the back? This is strengthening all those muscles. When you do ponche balances, you have to use those muscles in the back to hold yourself up. So that is what we're training in this, okay? Don't do the poncho yet, we're just focusing on the back, but that is why we do this exercise. So, let's give it a go. I'll shout it out as we go along. Here we go. Holding for eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, on side, one, Two, three, four, feel the burn. Five, six, seven, eight. We go side. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight. We hold a releve and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then try and rise up. Back to a neutral spine. That's tricky. And lower. Good job. Go over the legs. 
bend the knees, just stretch out all those muscles you've just been using. Good. You go down on all fours and we bend the back, we arch it and we arch it the other way. This is just again releasing that spine. So we arch it one way and the other way and one way and the other way and one way and the other way. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Now we go circular so it goes round and round and around and around. Right, round, we're gonna go the other way. Here we go, round and round, round and round, round and round, round and round. Good. Watch me before you try. Down into an arch position. We're gonna hold it here for eight. The most important thing is these legs are completely locked straight. There's no point holding it here. It's like doing nothing for you, okay? Straight legs. You're gonna hold it for eight here. Then you're gonna swim the legs for eight. So your legs are going really fast, okay? Then you're gonna cross the legs for eight. So the legs first go swimming for eight, then crossing that way for eight. Then we hold again for eight at the end. So we hold for eight, we swim for eight, we cross for eight, and then we do a final hold at the end for eight. Okay? Are you ready? I'll shout out as we go along. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, swimming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna cross. Crossing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job, that's a toughy one. So now go back onto your, sit back onto your, into your heels and just release the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, we're gonna go from this position. You're gonna roll through the spine here and then roll it back. Really thinking of arching as you're going there and then arching the other way. So you're doing both that way and that way because that's really important as I said at the beginning. So eight times, here we go. And a one and back, and a two, and back, and a three, and back, and a four, and back, and a five, and back, and a six, and back, and a seven, and back, last one, eight. Hold it here. Right, another one of my least favourite stretches, but also really good for you. Try and keep your knees together if possible. It makes it so much harder, but makes it like obviously a lot better stretch. And you've seen a lot of ballets these days, especially with the introduction of more contemporary work. They want you to have the knees together. So, we're going to do something called a swan arch, where you bend your knees and your toes, you try and touch your head. We're going to try and hold it for 20. I cannot talk in this position. I'll show you it quickly before we start. This one, okay? I can't talk in it. So we're just gonna go into it. I'm gonna hold it for 20. I'll tell you when to go in, and I'll tell you when to come out. So here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Ten more seconds. Good job. Stretch it back out. So we go back to here and we hold it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Good job. So you here you've got one leg to the side, and then one leg to the back. So this leg is up to the side. Oh, I'm taking all the garage with me. And then this leg's at the back. We're gonna lift eight times. So we do eight, one, nice and slow. We'll do it slower than this. And then a hold of eight. So we hold it for eight, like this. And then eight, bend and straightens. Again, obviously on the straight leg ones, the most important thing is that leg is super duper straight. And also the one to the side is straight as well. There's no point letting that one all relax. Both of them have to be super duper straight. So we do eight, eight lifts, eight holds, and eight bends and straight. Then we'll do it on the other side, okay? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, and down, and two, and down, and three, and down, and four, and down, and five, and down, and six, and down, and seven, and down, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bend and straight, bend, and one, and two. Keep going, three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and a seven, and an eight. Lower it down. Good job, that's a toughie. Now just stretch out your back. Stretch it out, that's it. Good job, well done everyone. Really, really well done. This is not an easy exercise whatsoever. Okay, we're gonna go on the other side. Switch room, let's do it. Again, this leg goes out to the side. This leg is to the back. Both knees are super straight. I know you love me really guys, I'm sorry. Let's do eight lifts, eight holds, and eight bends and straight. Here we go. And one, and down, and two, and down, and three, and down, and four, and down, and five, and down, and six, and down, and seven, and down, and hold. Two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, bend and straight, bend and straight, two, and up, three, and up, four, and up, five, and up, six, and up, seven, and up, eight, and up, good job, lower. Stretch out the back, going back onto your heels. Woo, that is not easy at all, you're doing great everyone. Not easy exercises I'm throwing at you. If you are finding them easy, a way to make them harder, you can always put leg weights on your ankles. Um, I mean, I don't recommend that because that's very, very painful, but if you really wanna intensify these exercises, that is something you could do if you, <laughs> if you wanted to. Stretching it out. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go and hold that swan arch like we just did earlier, again, for another 20 seconds. Again, I'm not gonna talk because I can't. So I'll tell you when to come in and I'll tell you when to come out. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Well done. Woo, that is not easy, but it's good. It feels good. You might find that you've actually become a little bit more flexible in the back since last time we did the swan arch. I find doing strengthening exercises for the back the best way to warm it up. If you do lots of strengthening exercises, it gets it really warm and a lot more malleable, I would say. Is that, is that, is that a word? I think so. Five, four, three, two, 
and one. Guys, if you haven't done any acro experience or gymnastics experience, maybe this is a stretch that isn't for you. But I would try and give it a go, but again, be really careful of your, your body, yeah? See, see, see how it is. Quickly just warm up the wrists. So just rotate round, warming up those wrists. Going round on the wrists. Turn the wrist in, continue going round, and round, and round, and round. And if they're feeling warm enough, turn them in towards you and sit back. This is just warming up the wrist. This isn't necessarily for our backs, but it's warming us up for a stretch we're gonna do for our backs in just a second. So hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right, okay. the thing we're gonna do is a bridge and crab. Okay, so you might know what that means, you might not, um, depending on what, if you've done outcore gymnastics. You're gonna lie down in a nice flat position. You're gonna bend the arms and legs in and you're gonna push up to a crab. Watch me for a minute, okay? You walk your hands in to your feet as close as you can. Again, only do this if you've had experience doing this, okay? Be careful. Walk them into your hands, walk them away, and try and straighten your legs in a bridge, okay? And then just come down by bringing your chin into your chest, and then we're gonna rock and roll out our backs at the end so that we're doing the reverse, okay? So we go up to a crab, Walk the hands in, walk the hands out, straighten the legs if you can. Again, be careful of your body. And then come down, rock and roll out. We're gonna do that twice over, okay? Let's do this together. So, starting flat down. We bend the arms in and the legs in. We push up to a crab. We walk the hands into our feet as close as you can. You walk them back out. You straighten the legs in a bridge them back and roll down through the spine and a little rock and roll out okay good job we're gonna do that one more time a couple more rolls we'll try it again here we go so we're down on the floor we bend the legs in and the knees in we push up to a crab walking the hands and the feet in together walk them back out straighten the knees in a bridge Come back down. I got caught on that there. Chin to chest and rock and roll out. Rock and roll. Good job. Well done. Good. That is our bridges for the day. This one I have two options depending on what level you feel like you're at. So we could you could just do the general back arches, which are just back arch and down and back arch and down. Okay. If you don't want to do the next exercise that I'm about to show you. Do this one instead. If you do feel like really pushing yourself, I want you to try this exercise. Again, be careful of your body, but a dead end, that's what I call it. So your legs go up and you bend up with the spine, okay? It doesn't actually matter if your feet are touching your head or not. It's more about the strengthening process with the legs. So you wanna lift it up and don't let the legs touch the floor. Two, okay? I'm gonna do 20. If you want to do back arches, do back arches. If you want to try this exercise, give it a go, but please be careful, okay? 20 of them, here we go. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, and down. Stretch out the back. I feel like we're constantly stretching out the back in this one, but it's important. Stretch it out. How about spine? 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rolling back up. Last exercise now. You're gonna lift the arms up. Now this is all about articulating the spine. There's no point just hinging the back. This is really bad for your back. If you just hinge like this, it puts a lot of pressure on your spine. So what I want you to do is think about 
articulating the head goes first and then each of the vertebrae like continue with the movement you don't just immediately go into a full out bend okay we're gonna be up here the head goes first then the next vertebrae and the next vertebrae and the next one and then it rolls back up in the same fashion okay you really want to get that articulation of the spine we're going to do five bends like this really think about using the core and using the back okay it's good for the stretch and it's good for the strength really controlled really slow let's do it five times and then we'll stretch out our backs and we'll finish here we go three two one lifting up and back coming back up and back coming back up three more breathe in and back coming back up rolling the spine two more breathe in breathe out bring it back up one more time and breathe in breathe out Roll the spine up. Good job, and bring it back down over your legs. Really stretch it out. Ten, nine, eight. Really think about when you're doing this, you're not just lying on top. Sometimes I hold my toes and I actually think about pushing this bone right up to the ceiling, like that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one good job everyone that is the end of this tutorial guys i really hope you enjoyed that tutorial if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button because i would super appreciate it make sure to check out some of my other tutorials and i'll see you very soon remember if you want to take part in these live classes go follow dance by central i have the link in the description i will link my playlist to a lot of my other flexibility and strength tutorials in the description below Remember everyone, dream big and make it happen.